T-Man 978 Chill Review. All right, everybody. I had this guy Yay. for a while. Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Earthrise Deluxe Class Ironworks. There's his packaging in the background right there. But who cares about that? Here he is. He fits right in line with the theme of Wave 1, which was mostly construction workers or and scientists having freaking grapple, hoist, and wheeljack being in Wave 1. So everybody seemed to be somebody that was like smart or in some type of construction field. Now in the packaging, they have him positioned like this. You could actually rotate this shoulder and give him a gun like that instantly, which is cool. I just now thought about that because I never had this on the shoulder, but I wanted to show officially how they want that to be. But I like to do because there's a port right there. He can have a gun right here. So there's that. It also looks like some type of welding tool and whatnot. Or he could carry it in his hand. He has no real hand on this side. I mean, he can carry a weapon there if you like. What he does have is this hook right here. And another thing I like doing, which the thumbnail should have... I like making this his gun hand, and I put the hook over here. And he does have a definite molded in hand right here, just to let you see. But his yellow paint, there is a lot of it. It kind of is dirty. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it with my lights. But it's not clean, and they did that on purpose because he is a construction vehicle. No, oh, well, he's not a vehicle at all, sorry. He is something built for construction. Here is his back. And yeah, let's get into his articulation. Head is on a nice ball joint. Can rotate and tilt and whatnot. Can it look up? Not really. But the arms are on a hinge and a peg so they can do that. He has a bicep swivel on this arm, a double jointed elbow on this arm. Over here, same stuff. You saw what I did with the shoulder. Can go out. He does have a swivel right here, but he doesn't have a double jointed elbow, just the swivel right here. He does have a very loose waist joint right here. It's connected to the back of this panel right here. So that's how that works, but it's still there, unlike their Voyager Class Starscream. Legs go out all the way up to there. Kick up more than 90 degrees, which I like. Swivel on a peg. Bend more than 90 degrees at the knee. And he has ankle pivot that can technically do that. But it kind of wants to stop right here. So his articulation is nice. I Kind of like messing with him more than the other regular Autobots that I actually knew. The the ones that have been Autobots all these years, which is kind of cool for a new character. Here he is next to some other War for Cybertron Deluxe Glass figures and Voyager Glass Grapple right there. Now, if you want to transform him, which I guess technically you are transforming him into something different. Take this gun off. Let's go ahead and put this hook back over here. But what they want you to do officially, this is the teardown, the preparation for him. You rotate the arm like this and basically leave that like that. You can pop that arm off and bend this into such a way where this bag goes into that slot right there. So basically just bring the fist up to the shoulder and bring this peg out right there. Now we can separate the legs from the thighs and basically just bring the knee all the way back on both sides right there. Put that to the side and what's left. You can take this off right here. On peg this from his back as well. There's a peg right here that goes into this hole right there. And basically Put that to the side, put that to the side, 
and the head i'm gonna go ahead and rotate it around and it stays up very tightly so you gotta force that down it does not give you a good feeling to be honest but now here's a bunch of parts now for his first form which is like a construction platform construction battle platform you need to take this part right here this yellow piece grab this is the left leg with the, the port right there and the foot right there you need to peg that right here and on this one the port is there peg it into here now we can go ahead and grab this this port goes into there but we need to separate this gun right here it's kind of difficult to do to be honest i'm gonna peg this part of the gun into this port and peg this here while pegging this this there actually it's not difficult the instructions make you do it ass backwards instead of telling you to do it like i just showed you <laughs> they make you port this on first and then put this in there which is dumb now we can take this gun right here and take this port there's a peg under here right there put that there as like extra support take this guy and shove it straight and that's how these connections work shove that straight in and now we take this one and point it in this direction let me make sure i'm doing that right yeah put it in that direction and shove that this way and now we take this there is a peg right here on what used to be the robot's chest and i just cut my dang on fingernails pull that out and flip this upside down peg that into here and you're good to go here is push that down here is the battle rig right there so this works for like micro machines and micro masters let me get some of them but basically this is definitely the kid friendly situation Mostly all you can do is park a car there, roll it down that this wide right way isn't even wide enough. It's just barely wide enough to do this. But if you had another one, you could put another ramp. You could make a whole situation, start connecting these together. I guess that's what they're hoping people do. Buy a bunch of these and several people have done it that are grown. Here's this guy on there. It doesn't fit all the way on there. And I just remember that. I didn't review this set yet, so I need to get that. I need to get that happening. I took this crane arm off, and you can open this up as a scovel scoop thing. Yeah, I don't know how effective that would be if this is an immobile station at scooping stuff up, but yeah, you can mess around, or kids can mess around. There, I mentioned kids in this YouTube time. All right, starting with these pieces back in their base form again that they were showing you, what you can do is lift this out on the leg, lift this out on the leg, take this piece that's the robot crotch, and shove that here. Take this piece, which is just a panel, shove that here, and then plug this together and now you have a driveway and it's not flat or anything I don't, I don't really like that i guess for support with and they don't show you this let's see if this actually touches the floor it does not so let me put this back on there nope <laughs> so this is just something you can do, but this is not stable. It's like, it's not stable at all. All right, now they use wheel jack, but I'm, I'm going to use cliff jumper here for the final suggested mode or whatever. But 
What you want to do with everything in there, base form, everything separated. Lift this up on the leg, lift this up. Kind of have it in this orientation where it can combine if you wanted to. You take the feet, shove that into there, kind of bend it forward for leg guards. Work that into his, his foot over there. Now I'm gonna take this out. And this arm, if they want ease, they want you to lift that out. Swing this peg right here like this and kind of put it into this orientation. Now you can shove that in his back. Maybe not all the way because his wheels get in the way. You take this crane arm shove it onto here like that take the gun work the gun into here now we can take this take the shovel out bend that down like this and now we can attach this to his forearm And take this right here with this on the bottom plug to get this together up here take one of these pegs this one and shove it into his arm and now he has a shield over there yeah even if this was on wheel jack I don't really like it too much on wheel jack this would be a little bit lower but you have access to this weapon right here you have this shield oh i guess shield gun and he has shields on the legs and whatnot oh yeah i i don't really like this too much i'm gonna go ahead and be extra and give him his backpack shield over there so now he's heavily armored and protected i guess by this guy and he can Shoot at the same time. All right, now starting from the base form again, I'm going to go ahead and pull the thighs out of the legs. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to take this part right here with the hips, shove them into the thighs. Take this, lift that head up to the clicks, rotate the head around, and put this peg into there and that peg into here. Boom. Take this panel, put these two holes onto the pegs on his back to looks like that. Take this arm, rotate it, take the gun, put it here. Shove that into there. Open this arm up. Take this peg and shove it into here. And now he's a robot again. Yay. Anywho, I like this figure. The alternate modes are disastrous. I mean, the little base station is novel, but it, it is it's cool, I guess. I can't really complain about it too much. These things technically are for ages eight and up so not every character is going to be a winner and this is definitely a figure i feel like that is definitely geared more towards kids than adult collectors with him being a new guy but um yeah the robot mode is awesome though i like the robot mode only issues i have in robot mode is this loose waist which is unfortunate but i do like this right here having that option that's cool. I didn't even think about it, like I said, until doing the review. So that's awesome. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to have a link for him in the description for where you can buy him off of Amazon. Every purchase helps out my channel and makes sure that I can, well, I'll probably, I'm still going to be collecting, but I can collect more stuff <laughs> with your help. Thank you for watching. Until next time, T Man 978, out of here. Click, click the videos. Click the videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You.